Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of June 5th through the 11th. What we have coming up, oops, let me silent my phone just in case. Sorry about that. What we have coming up for you, Libra, on Monday is the Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs is just telling me that you have some kind of new inspired idea that you feel really, really great about. Now, the Ace is the beginning of something, so it's going to be up to you whether you actually follow through on this idea, but this idea is showing up as coming in on Monday. This idea is going to be about something that you're passionate about, whether it's work, a hobby, a relationship, whatever. It'll be something around something you're passionate about. Now on Tuesday, here you have the Wheel of Fortune showing up in reverse. I do think you're going to be feeling less than your best. Some of you may actually be going for doctor's visits. Uh, scheduled doctor's visits is what I'm hearing on Tuesday just for checkup or check into something. Something like that is what I'm feeling. So some of you just feeling less than your best. Some of you actually at the doctor trying to find out what's going on that's making you feel um, not your usual self. Let's put it that way. All right, Wednesday, Queen of Swords shows up for me in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse, in reverse, Libras, Libras, is that you? <sighs> okay, so what I'm hearing is that this Queen of Swords in reverse is not actually you, but somebody rather that you're interacting with on Wednesday. This might be an air sign, but um, doesn't have to be. Now, Queen of Swords in Reverse to me is somebody who has been through the ringer. They've experienced some trauma or some drama and it was um, it was upsetting to them. Uh, but when we see the Queen of Swords in Reverse, she's coming out of that. She's getting over that and moving past that. So, you know, if she had, you know, her significant other, if her, if her significant other had passed away, this is um, her moving on from that. You know, if she lost a job, this is her moving on and recovering from that. Whatever it is that happened to her that had her um, really upset and um, kind of stressing out a lot, um, she's getting over whatever that was. And you're interacting with her on Wednesday and seeing um, that she's starting to get over whatever that is and moving past it. Now on Thursday, what we have is the High Priestess in Reverse. High Priestess in Reverse on Thursday, Libra. There is some information coming out that hasn't been exactly on the table before. Uh, for some of you, I don't feel like this information was exactly hidden. It just also wasn't exactly out. <laughs> Um, I think if you would have happened to ask the right questions at the right time, it would have come out before. But whatever the case is, now the information is coming out, and so you're able to move forward in a much more uh, well-educated manner than before. And for some of you, I feel like this information was intentionally kept from you. For those of you who the information was intentionally kept from you, you're going to know that. If you watch this reading and you have to wonder... Hmm, was that kept from me or not? It's not you. That does not apply to you. Uh, for those of you who this information was deliberately kept from you, you'll know that beyond a shadow of a doubt. You won't need anybody to tell you whether it was or it wasn't. Okay, so new information coming up. Well, old information that should have been out before, really, uh, coming out on Thursday. Okay, la -da -da, let's look at Friday. We do have the Nine of Swords showing up in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse is just telling me that there's some kind of situation that has been having you stressed out, um, maybe giving you a hard time really thinking clearly or thinking straight, maybe even distracting you from everyday duties or everyday tasks. And when, the, when this card comes in on reverse, there's telling me that either something is switched in that situation so that it's no longer bothering you so much, or you've done your own healing, either spiritually or uh, psychologically, so that this is um, not bothering you as much. Either way, it's not bothering you as much, so it's a good card. I like Nine of Swords in reverse. Uh, let's see, looking at Saturday, you guys have the Judgment card in reverse. This just tells me that you're going to be doing something off the cuff, not planned out, spur of the moment, on Saturday. Uh, ba bum bum doesn't always have to be a plan. Sometimes you can have fun without a plan. Sunday, Knight of Swords showing up. That's what they tell me anyway. 
Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, you're taking some kind of action on Sunday and you are taking this action because you're defending something that is important to you or that you care about greatly. Um, this can actually be words or it can be actually something that you do. Um, taking action can include, um, if you're concerned about the homeless population, this could include going down to a soup kitchen and helping out. Uh, anything like that or it can be you know actually confronting somebody over something that you think is very important to you or over something I should say not that you think is very important but that is very important to you um, so there's a lot of different ways to take action to defend something that's important to you so just be open because there's a lot of different ways that's going to manifest for you Libras but that is your week thank you so much everybody for stopping by for hanging out for liking sharing subscribing and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, some of you here this week for readings. And if you haven't done so yet, let me invite you to check out my new esoteric store at www.secretsoftheuniverse.shop. Not dot com. I am not confused. It is dot shop, S-H-O-P. So www.secretsoftheuniverse.shop. Thank you all so much, and I will see you back here on the next video. Peace out.